Hello, this is Miss Amy here to do another fun project together. Today we're going to do this uh, spider web wax resist. This is a fun one to do uh, for the fall end of October. So what we need for this project is we need a piece of watercolor paper and I recommend a piece of just plain white paper so we can practice drawing our spider web before we put it on our watercolor paper. Some salt, I have some salt that I put in a little container here, so a little container of salt. A black Sharpie. You'll need a white oil pastel. So I have my oil pastels here, but we'll just be using the white one. A pencil, watercolor paints, paintbrush, cup of water, a cup of water, and some paper towel. All right, so let's get started on this fun project. Um, we're going to practice making our spider web on plain paper first, and then we know how to draw it on our other paper. So when I do this spider web, it's fairly easy. We're just going to draw some lines. So we're going to start at the upper corner of our paper and draw a line and just go diagonally and just go off the edge of your paper on the other side. It doesn't have to be to the corner, it just can be uh, diagonal and we're going to start every line we're going to start up here in this corner and so I'm going to draw one more that kind of goes down towards the bottom and one more that will go this way off my paper. Okay, And just three lines just like that. And then we're going to take, and we're gonna about right here, not at the end, but about right here, we're gonna just make a curved line that curves toward, the curve needs to curve towards that center. So it's gonna be just a curved line like this. Almost looks like a smile line, but it kind of is a sideways. And you're gonna do that on all of each one. And you're gonna do that on each one the same direction and draw each one individually because we want it to just connect between those straight lines. And it's gonna look like a spider web then. This is a great way to practice this in that way because you can erase it. Which when we draw, draw it on our other paper, we're drawing with a white oil pastel, we won't be able to erase it. That's why we wanna practice first so we understand how to draw the web. So as I get closer, these lines are getting smaller. Right to, to the edge. Perfect. And then I usually draw, I come back over here and I just draw one straight line down. Later we're gonna, we can, that's gonna be where the spider is coming down. So, so on our paper, see how I drew? I drew that same pattern on my watercolor paper, but I practiced it first so that I knew how to draw it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my white oil pastel out and I like to make sure that it's clean. There's no other colors on it so I could just wipe it on my paper towel. And I'm going to look at my pattern that I drew on this paper. So I can have it here and I can see what I did and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start with that middle line and I'm going to push down hard so I get a nice dark thick white line. Um, you may not be able to see it as well, but you should be able to see it a little bit. And then I'm going to draw one underneath of it here. And then one on this side. Whoops. On this side. And now I'm going to add my lines. So my curved lines that curve toward the corner of my paper. And do the same thing, just like I did on my pattern. I just want to make sure I'm pushing down fairly hard on my oil pastel. I even broke mine. I was pushing down hard. I just want to make sure that when you paint over it, it will resist the paint. And so you need to make sure it's a pretty thick, heavy line of oil pastel. If you do it real lightly, it's not going to show through very well. So you just need to make sure it's heavy and dark. There we go. And then I'm going to draw my line coming down and later I will add my spider. But for now, that's all I'm going to do. So now we can, we won't need our oil pastels anymore. I'm going to set my pattern aside and I am going to get out my watercolors. 
And I like to use kind of Halloween type colors. So I'm actually using blacks, oranges, and purples in my background. And we're gonna do a wet on wet technique. So what I'm gonna do is start activating my paint just by dropping some water in each of the three colors that I'm gonna use. And then in my orange. And make sure that my brush is clean. And when I do wet on wet, I'm gonna paint water on my paper first. So I'm just gonna start in a section and just paint a small section to start with. Uh, my paper dries really fast here where I live, and so I can only do a little section at a time or else my paper would be all dried out and it wouldn't work. So just add some plain water, and then you want to um, get some color on your brush and then just tap it into the water, and I'll start spreading around and filling in where you put that water. And don't worry about the oil pastel, just paint right over the top of it like it's not, not even there. Oh, that's a really cool hot the paint did there. So I'm gonna do that, get some more paint, fill that all in. See, if you have enough water on your paper, your paint's going to fill that in. If it's not run, filling in that water, then you need to add a little bit more water to your paper to get a nice, to get that paint to move and do that. And then what I do uh, is I usually sprinkle a little salt just in a little area. Don't overdo it. Just a little bit of salt here and there. It's going to add some really cool texture to your paper. Um, you remove it after it dries. So now I'm going to do another section here. And I am going to overlap into the color that I already did. Just add my water. It's okay if that spreads out a little bit. Add another little bit of water here. And let's see, I think I'll add some orange next. So I'm gonna get lots of orange on my paintbrush. Ooh, look at that spreading around. I'm just tapping my paintbrush into the water. I'm trying not to brush my paint. I just want to kind of tap it and let it kind of go where it wants. So it's actually pushing that black paint. That's pretty cool. All right. So now I'm going to add, get my brush clean, add some more water in here. I'm going to add some purple in the middle there. So I'm going to go ahead and get some purple on my brush. Tap it in that water. Add some water in here. Oh, adds a little bit more purple. That was a really pretty color. And it's okay if the colors overlap a little bit. And then I'm going to add some more salt. So I am going to add a little bit more salt in here. Just a little sprinkle. All right. Add some more water. You want to do this till your entire background is filled in. I think I'm going to add some more orange there. Filling in nicely. Plain water. Add some purple. Ooh, I'm getting low on purple here. Look 
I'm gonna add a little bit more orange here. This is where I'm gonna draw my spider later. And I don't wanna have black spider on black background. So I'm just making sure that I used a lighter color where my spider is gonna go. And then I could add a bit more black here at the bottom. There we go. There, beautiful background. So what I'm gonna do to help it dry a little quicker is I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna add a little bit more salt. I wanted to add a little bit more salt on there. Okay, and I'm just gonna kind of soak up the extra water that I have on there with my paper towel. And as my paper towel gets dirty, I wanna make sure that I use a clean part of my paper towel. Especially when I do the black. All right, now you'll have to wait till this is completely dry to do the next step. So you want, you could use a hair dryer if you get a parent's help and that can dry it. Once it's completely dry, you want to brush all your cell off. So on this one, I brushed all my cell off and you can see kind of some texture there that the salt left behind. It soaked up some of the paint right there, some really cool texture. And then what I did is I took, um, I had a picture of a spider, a silhouette, and I just drew my silhouette with my Sharpie. So once it's dry, you can just take your Sharpie and color in, make your, draw your spider and just make sure that you fill it all in solid with the black Sharpie. And you can look up a picture of a spider or you can just draw from your memory what you think your spider will look like because different spiders look different. And I just made him hanging there on the web and it's a cute little spider there. And that is all there is to that project. It's a very fun um, seasonal project. So I hope you've had a fun time with this one. And always I enjoy seeing pictures of finished projects. So feel free to send one my way or uh, let me know what your project looks like. So thank you for joining me today for this fun project. Bye-bye.